what are we most interested in is my essential nature that essential nature comes out to be the experiencer it has many implications it has many consequences so let us go through a short list what happens when you realize your true nature what happens after self realization the realization is that that there is no i really the i is a word is you can substitute it with something else also it does not matter which that which you thought was i is gone now completely so there is no me nothing is mine there is no doer also because whatever is being done is another experience everything that you see are being done are being done by this body which is not me i am not doing it i am simply witnessing my nature is the experiencer who does nothing except witnessing seeing i am the seer i own nothing or you can say wait a minute the experiencer is the existence and experience is also existence so everything is me and now everything is mine also except these are not to be said in the society <laughs> they will simply lock you up you are a member of an ignorant society so no practically that which belongs to this person will belong to this person you will keep calling this body as my body or i the body no problem at all it is necessary to function normally in the society but what is the truth that you are everything and everything is yours and that logically means that nothing is mine really if everything is mine that means nothing specific is mine and if everything is me that means nothing specific is me i am universal i am not individual so we have done this exercise in more detail in the video title the illusion of the individual in the transmission series highly recommended if you have any doubts left please go and watch that again but this must be done by you it does not become true because i told you so this is also called the self inquiry you inquire about your own true nature so these are the implications of it but what will happen to this body which i thought is my body probably it will just die without the eye nobody will is going to feed it nobody remains here to take care of it the desires are also not mine so it will end up doing nothing now so there is nothing to worry like this because i have never seen anybody falling dead because they realize their true nature never seen a body disappear in thin air because it was seen as an assumption it was seen as an illusion another appearance the whole appearance the whole experience continues as before the body does its own play as usual the mental processes they keep happening as usual nothing really changes except your realization except this knowledge which is a big change in itself but uh, as far as the bodies and societies are concerned your relations and everything they can go on as usual notice that i said can there, there is choice here that things can change but uh, there is no need to worry because they can remain the same as usual nothing miraculous happens to the body or the mind or your relations or the society the body is not going to disappear the body is not going to drop dead whatever is necessary will continue to happen that which must happen will continue to happen if these thoughts arrive in your mind that no no something bad can happen you can immediately see that they are just thoughts they are not the reality reality is that which is happening that which is happening is already okay even if it is not happening according to your wish it is okay it's as the business as usual life goes on the experiences do not stop the experiencer does not disappear it all continues indefinitely yes the bodies they come and go the thoughts they come and go the memories come and go but the whole of it because it is existence it cannot come and go it continues indefinitely probably that will convince this individual the ego that everything is fine we are going to study this individual a little bit more and go into the depths of it what is it really we want to find out now it is not me then what is it so a person who is curious on the path of knowledge wants to know all these things we are going to explore everything in great detail the self realization involves only seeing that i am not this individual whatever is the definition of the individual simply discard it that is not me 
the self realization does not need an extensive study of which i just discarded there is no an essential part the essential part of the self realization is can be stated in one line and it is i am not any experience it is very easy although i said that there will not be any changes no major changes will be there in your life this life will continue as usual the experience will happen as usual but there is a possibility of things getting changed because this knowledge is going to change your behavior slightly for some individuals this can happen drastically there will be bigger changes there but there is always a choice you can come back to the old individual if you want but nobody does it actually once known the knowledge is not going to leave you so first thing that usually happens to those who know those who have realized their true nature is detachment the attachment to the body to the objects to the relatives to this worldly life money food or pleasures and the aversions from the pain and the negativity they are all dropped because it is not me it is not mine then there is a relaxation that happens in the mind and we say that well if it is there if it is working very good if it is not then also very good this is this is detachment and there is a peace now there is no anxiety you are not agitated all the time the survival happens as usual but happens in the background of the peace you are always blissful now because you are the witness of the happiness and you are the witness of the suffering in you there is a complete absence of these things you are the witness of the anger you are the witness of the fear you are the witness of all the struggle that this body mind organism is doing you are extremely peaceful you are extremely blissful that is your true nature and you become fearless because you know that i am the existence what can happen to the existence it can only change which is its nature so what everything changes anyway even if i am fearful even even if i live my life holed up in some hole in the ground this thing which i am trying to preserve is going to change into dirt so a new kind of intelligence wakes up in that individual and the fear is completely gone now this kind of uh, self realized person is not going to be petty is not going to fight with others for small things will not remain a miser will not remain a hoarder will not remain greedy will probably give up violence in short there won't be any pettiness there won't be any smallness in you you are the existence you are the experiencer so it makes no sense to remain small to become lowly now so there is this uh, gradual refinement of the behavior thought speech and even the body can change because the tortures that you were doing to the body feeding it poison addictions bad unhealthy lifestyle that will all cease and the side effect is seen on the body as good health the body will be happy the body will be fit and because the memory is changing there will be an acceleration of the evolution now this thing probably you will not understand right now but uh, we are going to go into the details of that which is evolving obviously it is not you something is evolving this is also called the causal body it is just memory so you will notice uh, sudden acceleration at the rate of evolution of this memory for to think our refinements are actually evolution of this thing the causal body so they are manifested in the life there is always a choice to remain what you are to not let the changes happen if you are happy with pettiness there is a choice to be that if you are if you want to be the body i am happy being a body i don't want to be the existence there is always a choice you can go back you can fall back rarely happens you see those who realize this thing have never seen anybody go back have never seen anybody fall back you offer them the whole wealth of this world and you offer them as a choice to fall into ignorance to fall into darkness and they will reject the whole wealth of the world because this is the biggest wealth knowledge is the biggest wealth and out of all kinds of knowledges the knowledge of the self is the greatest one there is nothing more important than this nothing more important in your life than self realization to know what is my real nature what am i who am i 
and as you see it is not very difficult it it, it took you only 10 minutes to realize that it is the easiest knowledge actually to know what is my essence so what is it that stop me or that stops people from realizing this thing which is so simple which is so beautiful which is so elegant and also the which is so grand so great and you already must have guessed the answer the answer is ignorance ignorance indoctrination blind beliefs superstition that is stuffed into your mind by others ignorant people so if there is still some ignorance left we are going to continue this series and explore these things which we just rejected as illusions we continue exploring till we we are 100% certain <laughs>